So you say you want to start traveling, but you're not sure where to start traveling. Well, I made a list of my top 10 travel tips for beginners. Check it out. Do your research on everything from insurance to visas to where you're going to go. You don't have to know everything about the country you're planning on visiting, but it helps to know some things. And some places are easier to travel than others. So do your research. If you're watching this video, then you're doing some research. Good job. I highly recommend travel insurance. You never know what's going to happen, especially nowadays with COVID. My aunt Rhonda owns a travel agency and she is always saying, always get insurance, always get insurance. Expect the unexpected. Stay. I could do a whole video on packing alone. Everyone always overpacks. Here's a tip. You don't need more than two pairs of shoes. I usually bring flip-flops, especially if I'm going to like a beach or tropical place, and a pair of tennis shoes in case I wanna do some hiking or I know I'm gonna be walking around a lot. Rewear your clothes, and if you're going on a long trip, you can do laundry. Other countries have washing machines. If you accidentally forget something and leave it at home, you can always go to a store and buy like a toothbrush or toothpaste or, you know, simple stuff like that. So don't worry too much. Always pack less than what you think you're going to need. I took a trip to Japan a few years ago. I brought this huge gargantuan suitcase and it was so annoying lugging it around all over Japan, especially because we kept switching hotels every night. So it was rough. Just always go smaller than what you think you're going to need. There are weirdo people out there in the world. I mean, yeah, there's some really nice people, but there are some crazies too you gotta look out for. Be safe. Don't make it easy for robbers to rob you. If you get lost, which is bound to happen, especially if you're a first time traveler, don't look lost. Go into a cafe, pull out your phone, look for directions and be like, okay, this is where I'm going and then go. Now walk confidently, be smart. You don't have to be paranoid. I want you to enjoy it. You want to enjoy your time on the trip, but always be aware of your surroundings. I went on a cruise a couple years ago and I didn't really plan super well with my phone. So I found out about roaming fees, which can happen just by you having your phone on. So I had to turn my phone off the whole trip and I couldn't keep in touch with my family back at home. So it's important to take care of your phone and get things all in order before you go on your trip. Basically, do your research and see what your carrier offers for international travel. There's also the option of buying a local SIM card. They're cheap, easy to use, and you can stay connected everywhere you go. And once you're done with that country, just throw it away. No problem. There's someone running outside. It's like freezing cold. This is one of my favorite things about traveling, is going off the beaten path. I mean, it's cool and great to see like touristy stuff, right? You gotta go see it. But it's way more fun to go somewhere that not a lot of people have been and to go and see like the back streets, so to speak, of a different country and how people live there and meet some of the locals. Meeting different kinds of people from all walks of life is one of the most fun parts of traveling. There can be a language barrier, but You'll be surprised by what grunts and playing charades can help you figure out. All right, I know this one seems pretty obvious, but pack the right clothes. If you are planning on walking a lot, wear comfortable shoes. On a side note, I usually wear tennis shoes to the airport. That way I don't have to pack them because they're so bulky and awkward. And I'll pack my flip flops or my, my casual shoes in the suitcase instead. Is the area going to hot? Is it cold? Are you going to be chilling at the beach? One day in Japan, we walked 14 miles like in one go. We didn't sit, we just kept going. Oh, my feet were killing me, but I had on my comfortable shoes and that helped a ton. My feet would have been dying without those. You can plan as much as you want, but no matter what you do, your budget will always be wrong. Your trip is going to be more expensive than what you think it will be. I don't know why, but it always ends up that way. Expect the unexpected. Things don't always go the way you plan. And if they don't, don't stress. It's okay, you're on vacation, have fun and just relax. 
A lot of first time travelers are super excited and want to see everything, but realistically, that's just not possible. Don't try to cram it all into one trip and try to see it all. You're, you don't want to spend your whole vacation just traveling from destination to destination. You want to enjoy the experience. That's the whole reason for traveling. I, I have this problem. I want to see everything, right? And it's just not possible. I could have spent a year in Japan and still not seen everything there was to offer. So instead, you know, plan some things out and pl like just plan the top like five things you want to do in that country and make sure you get those done. Anyways, you don't want to just be running from destination to destination. Enjoy the journey. The joy is in the journey. Don't wait for the perfect time because it's never going to come, especially with COVID. I think we've learned that these past couple years. I went to Japan the year before COVID hit, like literally it was March and then next March COVID hit and everything closed down. And if I didn't go to Japan, I wouldn't have gotten to go. So don't wait. You never know what's going to happen. Get out there and do what you want to do. Do whatever makes you happy. So no more waiting because your adventure is now and you are going to love it. Here's a bonus tip for you. Be careful. Travel is addicting. Once you start, you won't want to stop. Trust me, there's so much to see and do in the world. I'm so addicted. I'm always looking at different countries and things to do and things to go see. And I, I never actually plan the trip because there's, I don't have money for that. Who does? So you have been warned guys. It's an addiction. It's a fun addiction. It's great but it's an addiction. Congratulations on your first adventure. Be excited. I'm excited for you guys. I love traveling and I know you will too. Traveling is fun, addicting, enlightening. It's educational. You learn way more traveling than you do sitting in a classroom. Hopefully this video helped you learn a little something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I wanted to throw in a side note. In the end, it is up to you. You know, you know, you okay, let me, let me sit down. In the end, it's up to you. You know yourself better than anybody else. You know what you like, you know what you hate, you know what kind of vacation is your ideal vacation. So don't let anyone tell you what to do and you go out there and you do you. Peace.